What is he thinking? What's going through his head? He's upset about something. He's like, why are all these people coming into my house? <laughs> yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And guys, before we get into this, I want to first shout out to all the Patreon people out there. You guys have been just apparently selecting bangers recently like just absolute bangers and i just gotta thank y'all a lot of you guys are probably wondering like man like all these films that are coming out that james watching thank the patreon you know they have been voting for the polls we've been you know doing a really dope democracy over there and it's been going really dope so again before i get started uh too into the intro i wanted to give thanks to the patreon people over there you guys know who you are and you guys probably you know see yourself down below so um guys yeah we're gonna be hopping in to the Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre, and this is going to be, I believe, the original one, um, uh, the one that is, like, fairly old, <laughs> fairly old. Now, um, yeah, unlike all the other horror films that I've watched on this channel, and especially, I would say, out of all of, like, the big top league horror films that uh, are just known about around the world, Texas Chainsaw has just not been really on my radar. Weirdly enough, though, I know a good bit about, you know, the guy who literally just goes around with a freaking chainsaw, but I honestly haven't watched a single movie. Like, from beginning, middle, and end, I've probably seen, like, just scenes from certain uh, uh, films about this character, but I've never sat and watched the beginning, middle, end of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre it's kind of like the same thing with like the evil dead uh that we've watched you know way back on the channel um it's within the same realm of that you know when it comes to just being within my awareness i just have no awareness of the texas chainsaw uh guy and you know his you know relation to the ultimate horror group of you know uh bad dudes i guess you could say like jason Voorhees and all those people like freddy krueger i seem to get into freddy krueger like um so maybe maybe we can do some like nightmare on El elm street too um before you know the halloween season ends but again guys if you want to be able to like you know vote on the polls and you know be a part of the process of me watching your favorite films definitely check out the patreon link below there you can not only vote on the polls but you can have early access as well as full length content and uh, really cool opportunities for unique giveaways that I do like mangas and like you know really cool outfits and stuff like that it's still pretty new but I'm still going to implement more creativity with those type of things so again before we get started I just want to drop over the Patreon and again thank you to all my Patreon people out there you guys rock uh, if you don't want to do any of that because you know I get it Patreon is just like being spammed down your throats all the time by not only me but like a bunch of other people it's totally fine if you still want to support your boy you can just leave a like comment and subscribe uh, definitely again leave a like uh, YouTube really likes that <laughs> YouTube really likes that so it really does help you know not only this video to get brought up uh, in terms of just like awareness but more towards people who aren't aware of you know this channel's existence i've had so many comments saying that hey i just found your channel yeah yada and it's really dope and you know people are finding a really cool safe community within here so again if you want to be able to quickly you know support your boy just you know leave a like and again at the very least i want you to be able to just relax sit back pop open your laptop get your snacks your popcorn and just enjoy yourself as we hop right into the texas chainsaw massacre in the annals of american history the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, this is going to be already a dumb question coming from my part. Also, I love that intro. That was a really cool intro. It's been a minute since something like that was brought to my face. But yeah, uh, we need more intros like that. Is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre like an actual thing? Like, has that, has that actually happened? I wouldn't doubt that it did because, you know, reality is just a reflection or I say art is just a reflection of reality so I hope that I hope that going by chainsaw is a brutal way man that's cool I like that the soundtrack and the eerie music is going along with the flash of the photography it's a cool way to just like you know mash together suspense information and immersion Remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Bro, what the hell are we about to get into, man? 
I thought this dude was just, you know, about chainsaws, man. Like, he's over here making bodies of art with people's decomposing bodies in cemeteries. This guy's an artist. Area residents have reportedly converged on the cemetery, fearing the remains of relatives wow. have been removed. I love that they're holding on to this shot. As the investigation at the scene continues. What a great way to... Units continue to burn out of control. <laughs> you know, get the gist of, like, hey... <laughs> People are gonna probably die gruesomely. For the attack. The was treated for minor wounds at Bentop Hospital and released. Already, I am floored by how this opened up. It was like a combination of surrealism, of you know, uh, gruesome depiction of violence with like those practical uh, uh, bodies of <laughs> mutilation. <laughs> this is cool. I'm already digging it. We haven't even just we haven't even started. I'm already digging it. Their malapis is increased. Have you been doing those Reader's Digest word power columns again? Get... Jerry, it just means Saturn's a bad influence. It's just particularly bad. Some of y'all like that. Some of you are like that right now. This was made in 1973. Some of y'all are just getting into like that whole retrograde type of thing. You guys are late. That's been around, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with y'all. Do whatever y'all want. As long as you're having fun and not harming anybody. That's where they kill them. They bash them in the head with a big sledgehammer. Oh, well, that's awful. It usually wouldn't kill them on the first lick. Y'all, I love the editing, man. I love the editing. This is crazy dope. It's so surreal, man. It's such a great way to metaphorically blend things together. You know? They're just cattle waiting for the slaughter type stuff you know but i really do love the editing the use of the jowls and the muscles and the, the eyes and the ligaments and everything i love this dude <laughs> i love this dude's acting bro like it's so good <laughs> he's so unhinged Oh, snap, bro. What the heck? Oh, man. Yo. Nah, jump him. Stop him out. Stop him out. I just, I would. You know what? I wouldn't do anything. He might have like 20,000 brothers that are just like him. God, I love film, man. <laughs> film just. That natural grain, dude, like it's just so textured, man. I I love that. Hey, you think that guy's just trying to scare us by you know blowing up my picture like that? Yeah, my man's paranoid. <laughs> you should be. It's not every day you kind of you know run into something like that. But then again, I don't know where you are, and it is around 1970. So. Okay. I want to show you the inside. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Like, I... I... <laughs> I would not want to be <laughs> anywhere near that van. Like, he totally tagged y'all, man. Come on. As you can see, I'm already immersed into this film. Ah, oh, dog, bro, that was so good. <laughs> it's weird because, like, I'm, like, really intrigued by the art style, but I'm also grossed out. So I'm giving these really interesting <laughs> reactions where I'm like, oh, God, that's so terribly awesome. I was like, I'm in confliction. They really just left my boy out there. They just left... The dude who can't walk outside by a tagged vehicle in an abandoned house by himself. I I don't know, man. You might you might have to you might have to separate yourself somehow. Uh, there used to be a trail down between those two old sheds. You guys are ass, bro. We'll see you in an hour, or so. <laughs> What? Yo, they, 
Why are they doing this to my man right here? What the heck? Why are they doing that? <laughs> Yikes, dude. Yikes. Dude, this is good. <laughs> this is a good movie. <laughs> I love it. This is really well done. It's just absurd to me that the signs that are literally littered in front of their eyes are being ignored. It's literally like it's just death written all over the place. Like just straight death and they're just leisurely walking into it. <laughs> I love how just imperfect things are. Like, film is just, ah, so good. I wish more horror films nowadays kind of used it, but the imperfection is what makes it so horrifying. Like, I love it. I'm not going to go too deep into it because I can go into a whole artistic rant about it, but for those of you know, you know. Oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, bro. Yeah, that was horrifying. That was that was really scary. I'm not going to lie to y'all, dude. <laughs> that was really that was really scary. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Yo. Yo, the way that was executed was incredible. You see what I'm talking about like I I'm giving props, but that actually freaked me out, man. <laughs> He was seizuring, dude. Oh my god, he was tall. That dude was tall, man. <laughs> the way that they're able to continue a scene despite cutting to different, you know, areas is so awesome. Like I it builds. Like that is so cool. I love how they're doing this. Editing is off the chain. Wow, dude, that is bizarre. I don't know how many times I have to say this to y'all, but I'm actually really having a good time with this film, yo. <laughs> it's really good. God, and the music, man. It's like engines are colliding with one another. It's just so disturbing. God, dude. Yo, dude, that is, that's terrifying, bro. Oh, my God. No, dude. No, dude. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Oh, that hurts. And she has to watch. Oh, dude, this is this is crazy. <laughs> there it is, chainsaw. Oh, this is wild, bro. It's almost even, like, it's even scarier because they're not showing the gruesome actual beheading of him. But, like, yo, it's, dude, that was good. <laughs> yo, that got me. Like, I'm not scared. I was, I'm just deeply disturbed. <laughs> Dog! Oh, dog! Bruh! How is he just getting y'all like this? How? I mean, I know he's a big dude, but you gotta evade. Come on, man. You had ample amount of time to just do a little step back or something. That is... That's so unfortunate. Oh, damn, dude. That was such a good shot. 
That really was. That really was a good shot. Because I don't, I like, what is he thinking? What's going through his head? He's upset about something. He's like, why are all these people coming into my house? <laughs> Sally, I hear something. Stop. Stop. Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, bruh. Yo. 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 <laughs> Yo, this dude doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's a, he's, he's a beast. He's an absolute menace, man. Bro, man, 1970s, man. They did not give a damn. Anybody could get it. Bro, that is so terrifying. Like, <laughs> getting chased after with a chainsaw, that always creeps me out. That's usually the scariest moments when I go into, like, haunted mansion type of stuff. But, like, attractions, I hate that feeling, man. Oh, no, is her hair getting trapped? Oh, that's... That's super unfortunate, yo. Damn, dude. Yeah, you are you are in the worst, the absolute worst place. Oh my goodness, dude. He's about to die so hard, man. <laughs> Lady, you need to stop screaming. You need to just stop screaming. You need to stop screaming. You've done enough. You've done enough screaming. Save your breath. Run. You know, your form is lacking. There's no there's no rhythm. You're just flailing around, screaming. You need to run. <laughs> Get some Usain Bolt in you. Ah, dude. She's going to get got so badly, man. Damn. I'll get the drug. Take it easy. Man, you can't trust anybody out here, man. <laughs> you can't trust anybody. Uh, uh, don't tell me that's what I think it is. Nobody's going to hurt you. <laughs> no! How on earth did you get a knife slapped out of your hand with a broom? Come on, man. <laughs> we, we be over this in a bit, though. <laughs> Yo, they are just relentless with the vileness of just how evil these people are, man. There's no mercy. There's literally absolutely no mercy. I think a great way to describe this is distorted primitiveness, you know, where it's so raw, but it's twisted, you know, it's like not even animals really do this, right? Like, it, like there's a primitiveness to it, but it's just so twisted to such a degree, man. It's just warped. It's evil. Oh, I, I thought you was in a hurry. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yo, this is just... This is chaos. This is absolute chaos. She is in hell right now. I can't imagine what's going through her head. And to make it even scarier, this stuff is for real. Like, I not the events here, but, like, there's people out there. Man. Just be safe, y'all. All right, just be safe. All right, if you feel like you need to get out of a place, you probably should go with your instinct. Just do it. Just do it. That's so wild. His voice is like a distorted pig or like a pig getting slaughtered. Like, that's his voice, dude. That's horrific. Wait, is he alive? Oh, dude, 
come on, man. Oh, my God, dude. Come on, man. That is so disgusting, dude. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on? No way, man. Dude, no. No way. No way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Dude, <laughs> what do you do, man? You, like, like, what do you do? You are, you are in a madhouse. Because usually you would be like, okay, right? Let me act crazier than them. There's no acting crazier than them. This is as crazy as it gets. This is worse than anything, bro. Meanwhile, they're having their own sort of conversation. Like what? <laughs> like what? Like Resident Evil 7 totally. Like they had to have gotten some of their dinner table scenes from this. Also, yeah, dinner table scenes. If you're new here, I always love dinner table scenes. That includes this. <laughs> Dude, these shots are insane. These shots are horrific. What a crazy... Dude, the editing is off the charts. Editing really does also make a horror film. Shout out to that, man. Look at this. Dog, this is so unsettling, bro. <laughs> Dog. Oh, I've, I, uh, damn, I'm just in awe by just how just hopeless this chick is right now. Like, they are legit torturing this chick. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to give it to the actress, though. She's been screaming for, like, the past 30 to, like, 45 minutes. Uh, and that's what he was talking about with the sledgehammer. Yo, they're keeping on this scene. They're keeping on this scene, dude. Oh, snap. Oh, yo. I don't know what she would do right now, if I can be honest with you. I wouldn't know what to do if I was her. Her head is damn near cracked open. She's mutilated. She is forever mentally disturbed. Damn. And she's very far away from any civilization. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's crazy. He really got rolled under all the wheels. You tell me this truck driver is out here ready to throw hands right now? I love how they got out of the truck. They got out of the truck. Bro! Who the hell is this truck driver, bro? Who the hell is this guy? He's such an OG. Yo. I cannot believe she, she survived, bro. I cannot believe she survived. I mean, she's forever scarred. She's never coming back from that. Look at this shot, though. And the sound dude this movie was freaking fire oh my god hands down like oh dude this was such a good horror film guys that's the end of the chest i can't even say the damn time you guys know what i'm watching all right guys we just got done wrapping up the texas chainsaw massacre kind of you guys already know how i feel about this film this film was awesome <laughs> Dude, this film was so awesome, man. Damn. Yeah, this this is really cool. I'm so happy I was able to actually like watch beginning, middle, and end for this channel because I'm just able to appreciate it so much more. So let's 
dive into like just my overall experience outside of like the filmmaking my overall experience with this film because i try my best when watching films and all types of films really to kind of like have filmmaking and my genuine uh audience uh reaction kind of like intermingled together my genuine audience reaction to this is that dude this was this was this was disturbing this was scary like this is fear like this is literally you are the prey you are not the predator you are a hundred percent you know vulnerable and the way that they showcase that you know through um you know these incredible just like editing sequence and sound designs is just super creative i could tell the people behind this were probably really effed up <laughs> but but you know just how they were able to incorporate this um gruesome event was super surreal and artistic and how they executed it which in my opinion enhanced the overall horror and uh uh, absolute disturb factor of this film this film is crazy dude like this is insane this is such a crazy film and i would watch it again <laughs> i'd watch it again dude this was awesome i had a great time with this y'all i can't wait to kind of like you know uh go more into like certain films like this but like always guys that's my thought i had a great time with this let me know what your thoughts are on this um i can't wait to hear like some of your favorite parts which one's the scariest moment for you what we, what would you guys have done if you were in her situation i don't know i think at the at the dinner table scene there would be like this weird sense of like i'm in hell type of stuff so like yeah this was this was quite the ride i would I, I, I'm like kind of shocked, yo. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked by like all the events, but all right, I gotta clear my head. Whew. But guys, I had a great time with this. I hope you guys did too. Like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches cause they give them free. Just like my time. Pull back in the backseat